good morning dear students welcome to my channel today in this video i am going to explain very important topic from python programming that is about command line arguments okay what what are command line arguments and how to give command line arguments with practical example i will i am going to explain to you okay first i will try to explain what is what are command line arguments and what we have to do to give the command line arguments first this is if you observe the second point this is another way to accept the input generally we will accept the input in python with the input built in function all of you know right with the input built in function you will take the input but here we are giving input in the command line arguments as a command line arguments and the next point is inputs will be passed to the program as an arguments from the command prompt here we are passing inputs from the command prompt and for that we have to import sys module there is a built in module in python that is sys we have to import this sys module into our program okay when you are executing the program it will form a list as a or gv our result will come in the form of list that is a or gv the list name is a or gv okay and the next point is string all the inputs will be treated as string every input whatever if you are giving integer also it will treated as string if you want to convert that string in integer you know there is a factory function called int float everything in which form you want to convert you can convert okay this is about these are the important points related to the command line arguments next how to execute this command line arguments program first one is we have to write the program by importing the sys module next we have to save the program with the .py extension all of you know python files we have to save .py extension and next we have to open the command prompt next uh, how, change the path in the command prompt we have to change the path where the program is being saved where our python program is being saved we have to change the command prompt path to that particular location next point is this is the execution how to execute a program py or python file name dot py okay now i will show you in python ideally i will show you how to write the program and execute this program see ma what we have to do here we have to import here we have to import import sys module okay import sys in the next step print sys dot argv i already told whatever the inputs it they are storing into the argv list next this is just this is the program that's it okay next what we have to do we have to go to the command prompt we have to go to the command prompt okay this is command prompt when you are if you search if you search in the, your computer search right side search box it will just type cmd you will get the command prompt here actually my python program is there in d drive that for that i have to change the location of my command prompt okay d drive and in d drive where is it in d drive there is a python practice okay i will tell you wait i 
I will show you the location where we are saving the program. Yeah, PP practice. Okay, now we will go to that location. SCD CD. I am changing the directory CD PP practice. Okay, now it is coming to the our where our program is saved in the Python IDLE. Now, how to execute the program? Py py. One more thing, we did not save our program. First, before that, we have to save our program. Right? We have to save whatever the Python code we have written in the untitled file. Now, I am running this module. Then, it will ask to save my code. I have to save this code in the same path where I am changed my command prompt. Okay, that is PP practice. I am saving this PP practice program as command C O M M A N D command dot P Y. Okay, now my program is changed, but here we I will not get any output in the Python shell. If you observe here in the Python shell, I am getting just file name. Is that no? File name. Fi I am getting file name as the output. D pp practice command dot py. This is my program path. Okay, now what we have to do? We have to go to the command prompt to execute this program. We have to go to the command prompt here. Py. The file name is c o m m a n d. Py command dot py. And here only we have to give the inputs. We have just seen right. We have to give the inputs to this program as an argument in the command prompt. Now I am giving inputs 1, 20, 30. The inputs sh sh uh, shall give by leaving space between each number. If it is string, we have to enclose in the double or single quotes. Okay. Now press enter. If you observe here, how you are able to get the output? Within the command prompt, we are giving the inputs and within the command prompt only, we are getting the output in the form of list. Please observe this. Okay. This is the list, ARGV list. What is the first argument within this list? First argument is the file name itself. What is the file name? Command.py. And the next arguments are whatever the inputs we have given. 1, 20, 30, 54. These are the inputs we have given. If you observe, every one is getting in the uh, enclosed within the single quotes. What is the meaning of that? Everything is considered as a string. Even though we are giving integers, they are considered as a string. Okay, now I will tell you how to iterate through the given, uh, iterate through the given sys.argv list. Now, I want to iterate through the sys.argv list. How to iterate? We have to use the for loop. For variable name ELE in sys.argv, we have to use colon. Next in this, okay, I have added a mistake here, sys. Now, print ELE. Print ELE. Okay, now control S. Let's save our program and let's go to our command prompt. Again, we will execute our program. Just press up mark and press enter. See here. This is the iteration. By using for loop, I am iterating through the I am iterating through this ARGV. This is ARGV list. If you are iterating means what? It will print the elements of the given list by one by one. First, what is the first argument of the list? Command.py. Next argument is 1. And the next argument is 20, 30, 50, 40. With the help of for loop, we are printing the elements of this ARGV list. Next, one more thing. I can 
I can print the elements of the sys.argv with range function also. Okay. For ELE in range of range of 0, comma, len of len of sys.argv. First, before that, I will tell you what is len of sys.argv. I will print here. Print len of sys.argv. Len of sys.argv means it will return the total number of elements in the argv list. Total number of elements in the argv list. Okay. Now, here what I will do, I will print argument comma here I will take i instead of ele I will take i argument comma i comma print okay sys dot argv of i now just to see the control s i am saving this what we are doing here with the help of with the help of range function with the help of range function i am printing the elements of the argv list okay in the range function what i am using starting with zero from starting zeroth index up to the length of sys.argv all of us know range function will give 0 to n means it will print up to 0 to n minus 1. <clears throat> okay, now I will show you the output. Okay, see ma, I hope I did not show you what is the code. See here, import sys, first import sys, print sys.argv and in this step I am showing you print len of sys.argv it will return the number of elements in the argv list and here we are using for loop with range function here len of argv is what length range function will loop, iterate this loop how many times 0 to n minus 1 okay just see the output in the command prompt now Okay, again we will execute the same code. See here. What here we got 6. What is the meaning of this 6? If you just observe 6. What for which it is getting giving the output? Print len length of sys.argv. Argv list is containing how many elements? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6 elements are there in the ARGV list. That's why it is giving length as 6. And we are here we are printing elements of the ARGV list by 1 by 1 with the range function. At argument 0, at the index 0, what is there at the index 0? At the 0th index, command.py is there. At the first index, 1 is there. At the second index, 20 is there. At the third index, 30 is there. At the fourth index, 50 is there. Right? At the fifth index, 4 is there. Fifth index, 4 is there. Like this, we can we are able to print the ARGV, elements of the ARGV with range function by using the length of sys.argv. Next, one thing I will tell you. How to do the sum of the numbers? I want to do sum of these arguments. How, uh, how can I do? Because everything is considered as a string here. That means if you want to do the sum of these numbers, you have to do the type conversion. You have to convert these strings into integers. How to do that? We will see. Okay. Now, he, I will use the same program and here just I will initialize sum is equal to 0 because I will use this sum variable to find the sum 
of the given arguments. And one more thing, we have to here no need to print this this statement. We can keep in comment. Okay, we will not use this statement. Here, what we will do, we have to take from 1, range function from 1, because at the index 0, file name is there. Just now we have seen at the index 0, what is there at the index 0? I will show you. At the index 0, what is there? Come, the file name is there. Can we do the sum with the numbers? This file name we cannot do with the sum of the numbers, right? That's why we have to avoid this element at the position 0. That's why I will start the range function from the, in, from the index 1. See here, from i in range 1 comma length of sys dot argv. Now, sum is sum plus is equal to sum plus is equal to int of sys dot argv of i here why i am doing int of sys dot argv of i because everything every element in the sys dot argv is in the form of string i am doing type conversion sum plus is equal to means sum is equal to sum plus int of sys dot argv of i okay now I will print the sum here. Print sum is equal to sum. Now we will execute this program in the command prompt. Okay, I am giving numbers 50, 60 and 40. Okay. Now see, okay, we are getting in every step it is calculating the, the sum, yes or no? Okay. Yes, here after every step it is printing the sum. Okay. Just see sum is 1. In the first iteration sum is 1. In the next iteration sum is 21. In the next iteration 51, 201, sum is 161, sum is 201. Final sum is 201. Okay, this is the answer. This is how we have to do the sum. What is what you observe here is what you have to understand here is we have to do the type conversion because everything even though we are giving integers, it is considering as a string. Okay, this is all about command line arguments, friends. I hope you understood this session. Okay, if you like this session, please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Thank you everyone.